Hi guys, welcome again to Derive and I'm Engineer HB and we're going to answer a sample problems for the topic of pressure. Of course, under the subject of thermodynamics. So this is a five item uh, sample problems for the pressure. And I decided to separate all the videos no, kasi medyo nakaboring kapag mahaba, lipat dito, lipat doon. So how about one question, uh, one video each question. Uh, for all of us, no, to, uh, mas convenient sa atin. So, ayun, tara, let us start. And I hope may matutunan tayo at ma-refresh. So, the first question for the pressure topic is that uh, the barometric pressure in a given region is 100 kilopascals. So, that I mean the absolute pressure in. That are a kilopascal and PSI A. So, PSI A meaning absolute PSI. If the gauge reads 20 kilopascal gauge, so KP, KPAG means gauge, kilopascal gauge. So read the unit first and if it is A, so that's absolute. And if it is G, that was a uh, gauge. So letter B, TOR, TORA, TOR absolute. And bar, if the vacuum pressure is 300 millimeters uh, mercury vacuum. And letter C, uh, meter water and kilogram force per square centimeter if the gauge pressure is 30% more than the barometric pressure. So, ayan. So, teka, uh, sagutan natin. Okay. So, ang sabi, the barometric pressure in the given region is 100 kilopascal. So, let us put First, or write first the barometric pressure, which is 100 kilopascals. So, that means the absolute pressure, sabe. So, pag sinabing absolute pressure, we all know that the absolute pressure is equal to barometric pressure plus gauge pressure. So, kapag walang given, na barometric pressure, atmospheric pressure ang gagamitin. Okay? So, konting review lang. Ayan. Pero since given naman ang barometric pressure, which is 100 in kilopascal, so we can find the answer right away. Ang sabi sa letter A, determine the absolute pressure in kilopascals and uh, PSI absolute if the gauge reads 20 kilopascal gauge. So, ibig sabihin, the pressure gauge is equal to 20 kilopascal. So, ibig sabihin, pwede nating mahanap si absolute pressure kasi given si barometric pressure which is 100 kilopascals and given si 20 kilopascals for gauge pressure. So, the answer in letter A is P absolute or absolute pressure is equal to barometric pressure which is 100 kilopascals plus gauge pressure which is 20 kilopascal. You may put the gauge or G pero pwede namang hindi. So kung saan kayo convenient. So parehas din naman yan. Uh, I mean kilopascals pa rin ang unit for the absolute. Basta gauge itong gauge pressure of course and barometric pressure is just a simple kilopascal. So, simple substitution, 100 plus 20. So, that was 120 kilopascal absolute. Okay. So, ayan. 120 kilopascal absolute. So, nahanap na natin si kilopascal. So, proceed naman tayo sa PSI absolute. So, no need to do, uh, to repeat the operations of addition. Uh, that uh, Because we all know, konting review lang, that one, 101.325 kilopascals or one atmospheric pressure is equal also to 14.7 PSI. So we're going to uh, do some uh, conversions lang for this. So that will become so in every 101.325 kilopascal or one atmospheric pressure there is 14.7 PSI or 14.7 pounds per inch squared. So in here, we may uh, know the value of the absolute pressure in PSI absolute. So that was 120 
times 14.7 divided by 101.325. So that was 17.41 PSI absolute. So there's the answer. 120 kilopascal for kilopascal and 17.41 PSI for PSI question. Okay, so that will do for the letter A. So how about letter B? So the letter B is asking for the unit of Tor absolute. So letter R yan. And, and bar. Kapag ang vacuum pressure daw, phi buck, is 300 mm HD vac. So no, uh, I will not put the back na the subscript because we all know that this is a vacuum pressure. So we're going to find again the absolute pressure. Basta lang ang inanap is tor or tor absolute and bar. Okay, so tor. So ano ba ang unit na to? So alam natin that in one tor, meron tayong one millimeter Hg. So that's the conversion. So big sabihin, we need to find the answer in millimeter Hg so we can convert it on tor. And again, we all know that P absolute is equal to barometric pressure plus gauge pressure. But the thing is, there's no gauge pressure here. Pero uh, as far as I know, or, or as far as uh, we remember, we all know that the gauge pressure is just the negative vacuum pressure. So ibig sabihin, ang vacuum pressure natin is the negative gauge pressure. So parang uh, balik talaran mo lang. So ibig sabihin, ang absolute pressure is equal to barometric pressure uh, pa rin, pero magiging minus uh, vacuum pressure na. Kasi yung PG natin magiging negative ng vacuum pressure. So ibig sabihin, magiging barometric pressure na minus vacuum pressure. So ibig sabihin, ang barometric pressure is 100 kilopascal, where the answer is looking for millimeter Hg. And since our vacuum pressure is in millimeter Hg na, so we should convert the barometric pressure first into millimeter Hg. So that was 100 kilopascals. Uh, usud natin konti dito. So that was 100 kilopascal. And we all know that in every one atmospheric pressure, there is 101.325 kilopascals. At ang conversion niya is one atmospheric pressure is equal to 101.325 kilopascal. And it is also equivalent to 760 millimeter mercury. Okay, and siyempre, si vacuum pressure is in MMHG na na unit, so there is no need to convert it first. So cancel si kilopascal here, so MMHG ang parehas na unit. So the absolute pressure in millimeter HG is 100 times 760 divided by 101.325 minus 300. So the answer is 450.06 millimeter HG. But the question or the letter B is looking for TOR absolute or TOR, T-O-R-R. -R. And way back here, we all know that one TOR is equal to one millimeter HG. So, ibig sabihin, in every 1 mmHg, there is uh, 1 tor. Hg uh, in the Hb. <laughs> so, that was, syempre, 1 is to 1. So, the answer is 450.06 tor absolute. Okay, so yan yung answer sa tor absolute. How about the bar? So conversion again, just a little review. We all know that one bar is equal to 100 kilopascal. 
So, ibig sabihin, para hindi na tayo umulit dito ng plus minus, we, uh, we can use the answer of 450.06 millimeter Hg. So, convert na lang natin siya into kilopascal para makonvert siya sa bar. So, 450.06 millimeter Hg times in every one atmospheric pressure, there is one... Uh, tama ba? So, there, in every 101.325 kilopascals or one atmospheric pressure, meron siyang 760 mm Hg. So, burayin natin itong line, paleng. O, mas paleng. Yeah. And syempre, cancel na si mm Hg. And we all know here that one bar is equal to 100 kilopascal. So that will become 1 bar divided by 100 kilopascal. So ayan. So the answer is 450.06 times 101.325 divided by 760 and divided by 100. So the answer is medyo exacto 0.6 bar. Okay, so meron na tayong unit for kilopascal for the letter A, PSI for letter A pa rin, tor absolute for letter B, and bar for letter B again. So we're still looking for the third question which is letter C. Determine the absolute pressure in meter water or meter H2O and kilogram force per square centimeter. So, burahin lang natin, guys, yung ibang part. So, eto na lang. Ayan. Ano bang mas mabilis magbura? Sa board o sa PowerPoint? So, Siyempre, sa board. Minsan. Pero may mga mancha pa. Pero dito, mabilis naman. Depende sa sinulat. So, ayan. Proceed tayo sa letter C. So, meter H2O and kilogram per, per square centimeter. Pero, meron din siyang given condition that if the gauge pressure is 30% more than the barometric pressure. So, meaning, ang sabi, gauge pressure represented by PG is equal to 30%. So, ibig sabihin that was 1.3 more than the barometric pressure. And we all know that the absolute pressure is equal to barometric pressure. Pura -pura. Barometric pressure plus gauge pressure. So, that will become barometric pressure plus 1.3 barometric pressure. So that was a total of 2.3 ng barometric pressure. Okay. So ibig sabihin, it is just a simply uh, multiply or multiplication of absolute pressure is equivalent to 2.3 times the barometric pressure, which is 100 kilopascal daw in the given region. So that was 2.3 times 100. So that was 230 kilopascals absolute. Kasi absolute pressure na to. So later on naman di ka na malilito. Basta practice lang. Kung kailangan lagyan pa ng A or ng G. But the thing is, the question is looking for meter water. Okay, and we all know that uh, in every one atmospheric pressure, there is 101.325 kilopascal at equivalent yun also to 10.33 meter ng water. So kung paano nakuha yung mga value na to, halimbawa man nag-review ka nga pero tanda mo, pero you have the desire, no? Or uh, ano ka, uh, nagtataka ka kung saan mga nakuha yung mga values na to. So we're going to derive another 
formula pero another video na lang for this pero uh, just a review for the thermodynamics alam naman natin yung mga conversion so ito ay just uh, refresh uh, refreshment lang so that will be equivalent to cancel ang kilopascals natin matitira meter water so that was 230 times 10.33 divided by 101.325 so the answer is 23.45 meter H2O. Okay, so meron na tayong meter H2O here. So the remaining ans uh, the remaining question is looking for the kilogram force per square a square centimeter and we all know that in one atmospheric pressure there is 101.325 kilopascals and it is also equivalent to 1.0332 kilogram force per square centimeter. So, ibig sabihin si 230 dito, pwede natin siyang, so, naubusan tayo ng space, sige, singit na lang natin dito. Si 230 kilopascal dito, we may use this kasi nga 101.325 kilopascal or 1 atmospheric pressure is also equivalent to this value of kilogram force per square centimeter. So, ibig sabihin, 230 kilopascal divided by 101.325 kilopascal times 1.0332 kilogram force per square centimeter. So, kilopascal is cancelled. So, the answer is, usod lang natin to konti. Aburay na rin natin. So, the answer is 230 times 1.0332 or one uh, divided by 101.325 so that was 2.345 kilogram force per square centimeter so that is the answer that we're looking for the unit of kilogram force per square centimeter and just a little reminder guys in order for us to more understand the unit analysis or dimensional analysis we may read this 230 kilopascal divided by 101.325 kilopascals times 1.0332 kilogram force per square centimeter. Kasi earlier, I read this as 230 times 1.03 blah 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 divided by 101.325. So that's correct, pero it's easy to understand that in every 230 kilopascal, you will divide 101.325. Kasi in every 230, ay in every kilopascal or one atmospheric pressure, it is equivalent to 101.325. 3 to 5 kilopascal. So in every one, kil uh, since it is kilopascal, so kailangan mag-equivalent siya sa kilopascal din sa ilalim. So ayun. Uh, pares naman tama. Just a uh, little reminder to understand more. No? Kasi yung kilopascal to, kailangan makancel si kilopascal. So the denominator should be in kilopascal as long that this value of denominator is equivalent to the uh, numerator. So this 101.325 kilopascal is equal also to 1.0332 kilograms per square centimeter. So ayan yung uh, number one or first item natin for the topic of pressure under the subject of thermodynamics. And kita kits tayo sa next video for the item number two. So ayan, uh, good luck sa review nyo guys and thank you sa pagsama sa akin sa pag-solve nitong item number one. Bye-bye.